What's up again, LinkedIn and YouTube? JT back. Now, um, I just got wind of this news here in LinkedIn, right here. Panda Express has just opened its doors to the Philippines. They, they, they are, they've actually opened the branch at Mega. They've actually opened their first branch at Mega Mall. Jollibee happened to bring them here. Okay. Now, Panda Express is a Chinese restaurant chain. Here's here's my observation. Where does where does where does Chow King be in all this? Okay. Where do they leave Chow King after opening Panda Express? Okay. Where does the Johnny B Group? What is the Johnny B Group stand now for Chow King? Before this, Chow King was their was their uh, was their weapon of choice against against other Chinese restaurants, against other Chinese uh, yeah fast food chains. But uh, I've yet to. I think, I'm, I think I'm going to pay that uh, pay that uh, resto a visit, uh, Panda Express. I uh, really, really love to try the food. Um, the way I see it from the post, it's a um, what do you call this? It's catered to the upper class. That uh, that Panda Express. Now, yeah, that's that's the observation of mine. I hope and pray that Chow King doesn't become chopped liver because of this. Okay. The Chow King that serves us here in Pasita, uh, they got they got very friendly. Like, they're a very friendly bunch. Okay. We've been delivery customers of theirs since uh, since they opened. <laughs> since they opened, actually. I hope Chow King, Yeah, I hope Chow King doesn't become chopped liver because of this. I hope they don't fall by the wayside because of Panda Express. And Daniel, Panda Express and Chow King are both owned by the Jollibee Group. Okay? The Jollibee Group franchised Panda Express here for the Philippines. So, well, yeah. I hope Chow King doesn't fall by the wayside because of this, uh, because of this business deal. Catch you later.